sponsored by Executive Homes. And we are taking a live look on our CityFlex camera this morning. We're seeing those nice and clear skies. As of now, that's not going to be the case for all of the day today. So go ahead, enjoy your morning, enjoy the start of your afternoon, because later this afternoon and going all throughout the evening and night, it's going to be pretty soggy and windy out there on the Sunday. So all part of our Dave's Claremore RV weather camera network. And now check out these temperatures. We're warming up into those lower 80s for this afternoon and then a steep drop in temperatures after the passing of a strong cold front for us here in North northeast Oklahoma. So we'll be in the 80s by the afternoon and then in the 50s as we head into our 8 o'clock hour. So just after sunset, things will start to get really chilly for us out there and they'll continue to stay nice and cool as you wake up tomorrow morning. Definitely going to be grabbing that jacket as you head out the door. Radar right now picking up on showers and thunderstorms developing uh, now in portions of northern Kansas. This is going to be reaching northern Oklahoma as we head into this afternoon around the 2 o'clock hour for areas to our north and then closer to around 4 p.m. for us here in the metro. Temperatures outside right now are staying a little cool in the upper 60s. A little humid out there as well with those breezy southeasterly winds. 67 degrees for us here in Tulsa 64, in Muskogee, Tahlequah at 61, in Poto at 61 for our cool spots on the map. Highs today are going to be varying quite a bit with the passing of this front reaching our northern counties a bit earlier. They're only going to be warming up into those upper 70s before that heating process is cut off by that boundary. Otherwise, we're going to be seeing those lower 80s, even mid 80s down in Fort Smith for today. 83 is our four forecasted high here in Tulsa. So this is around 345. We start seeing those storms develop. Note that shift in winds. They'll be quite breezy behind the passing of this front. They'll be gusting uh, between 30 and 40 miles per hour after this front passes through. Otherwise, southerly winds until then for today. Now we see these storms continue to develop through the five o'clock hour for us here in Tulsa, pushing through our southern counties closer to around 8 p.m. tonight and then exiting the viewing area closer to the midnight hour. And then we'll see that clearing process take place throughout our Monday, mostly sunny skies on the way and cooler conditions on the way with those breezy winds out of the north for us. Now going into our Tuesday, we continue to see those crisp fall like conditions prevail for us. And that's going to be the case throughout the majority of this upcoming week and into the start of October. So storm out look for today still highlighting all of northeastern Oklahoma and even into the southern part of the state for seeing some of those storms reach strong to severe limits. Can't rule out some hail and some uh, damaging winds within some of these storms that do develop. But like I said, it's those winds on the backside of that front that are really going to be whistling throughout the night tonight, keeping things cool for us. You'll really feel the difference um, between now and tomorrow tomorrow morning. So go ahead, download our Storm Shield weather app with the chance of some of these storms becoming strong. You just have to have a way to stay updated throughout the evening. And looking at the week ahead, looking a bit fall like with highs in the 60s for your Monday and lows falling into the 40s. Going to be quite chilly as you wake up on Tuesday and then once again falling into the 40s by the end of this week.